Good morning, welcome to Angel Monday and I'm Rachel Skoltuk with your Angel Guidance for the week ahead. And today we are working with Archangel Gabrielle and Archangel Michael and they've got some really powerful insights for you about moving forward with your goals and dreams and helping you to find what you want in a way that you're not sabotaging it along the way. So we've all got these sort of unconscious fears and beliefs that we carry with us that when we set out for with a new intention, a big goal, a dream, that sometimes as soon as that we bring that into reality, we say, okay, I'm going to do this, fear pops up and you've probably noticed it that you're like, how come I make these intentions every year or I've got these big dreams but I just don't seem to be getting any further along and that's because there's two forces working within you. It's love and fear, it's your soul and your ego. It's So luckily your soul is backed up with your angels, your spiritual guides, the divine, so that you have this whole team working with you for the greater good, helping you to move forward. But you've got that pesky negative self and ego that that you know convinces you sometimes that you can't have what you want so that's a little bit about what we're talking about today but i'm doing this every monday with you and um to help you to know what messages the angels have for you for the week ahead and it's always good to be prepared right what's the energy going to be like what is it that we most need to know so i'd love to know um who's watching so say hi in the comments and let me know where you're you're joining us from and you know let me know is there have you noticed that there is some resistance inside you when you want something to come to fruition now we're in this really huge full moon energy right now so one that's really good because the moon always spotlights things for us you know it's like a huge spotlight in the in the sky it and it brings things to the surface emotions um, past experiences that you thought perhaps you're done with but spirit and the universe is showing you things that you need to um, heal that you need to revisit and perhaps look at from a different perspective or um, do that next little bit of healing to support you moving forward um, with the new intentions because when you set an intention you raise your vibration it's like I'm going to climb that mountain over there and already you're raising your vibration just by imagining it, thinking about it, wanting it, you, your vibration lifts and so you're changing and when you change it gives you your energy field a shake up and anything that's there that's, that's um, not matching that new vibration you're living at will pop up and show itself to you. <laughs> And that's not out of punishment, that's just to let you know that, um, okay, this is what needs to be healed, this is what needs to be released. But one thing I want you to know is just because something pops up for healing doesn't mean that you have to go, oh, okay, then I can't have that until I've healed this, this, and this. The angels want you to keep going, walking up that mountain, creating that manifestation while you're healing. So, you know, I hear a lot of people saying to me, oh, I've got this block, I've got to work on the block before I can do the thing. And that's not true. There's plenty of people who are blocked, who are unhealed, who have the things that they want. But it's about working on them a step at a time as you're moving forward positively. So, you know, that can be a bit of an ego trick too. It's like, oh, you're not finished yet. You've got all these things to do before you can have what you want. It's not right. Hi, Lorraine, good morning. I'm in South Australia too. And Kimberly, Nashville, Tennessee, beautiful Nashville. I love Nashville. Welcome, welcome. And Leah, hi Leah, Mish, and Paula's in Adelaide too. We've got a whole Adelaide thing happening. <laughs> so welcome everybody. So let's get in first to the reading, and then we'll talk a bit more about how these blocks come up, and particularly the block of um, of guilt. Sometimes guilt. Uh, Kobe's in Ghana. Hi, that's beautiful. I bet that's an amazing place to be. 
So we're going to call in Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel. Now, Michael and Gabriel both work, work together very well, especially on your intentions and your goals and dreams. So um, Archangel Gabriel is the angel that is I sort of think of as like the <laughs> bossy, pushy, nudging angel. It's just the angel that helps us um, and stops us from going off track. You know, sometimes you can go, oh, hang on, yes, that's my goal, but I'm just going to go over here for a while. And, and Gabrielle will always bring you back to, um, to, your, to your dreams and goals. Also helps you by um, let, making you let go of those low energy beliefs and thoughts about yourself that um, keep you small and invisible. So that's why Archangel Gabrielle is the angel of the month this month, because January is always a new beginning for us. And it's always, you know, often where many of us are setting new intentions for the year ahead. We want to complete something by the end of the year. So if you've got Archangel Gabrielle on your side, you, you will definitely achieve those things. And Archangel Michael, of course, is also one that puts a bit of a rocket behind us. And one of the ways that Archangel Michael does that is to give us courage, immense courage. He lends us his shield of protection so that those naysayers, those negative people and negative voices inside your own head don't stop you from moving forward. Look out for those. So Archangel Michael will use his sort of like to cut the cords to jealous people or if you're self comparing, you know, with other people that are doing what you want to do or to any any negative situation that you're ready to let go of, Archangel Michael will help you release that and will give you the courage to take brave steps to move forward. So we thank you, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, for being with us today. We invite your presence, your protection, your guidance, your intervention in our goals, dreams, and intentions. Thank you, Archangel Gabriel, for helping us have the strength to face what it is that we need to face, to overcome it, and to keep going with our goals and dreams, even when we feel tired, or we feel distracted, or we feel doubt about them. And thank you, Archangel Michael, for severing our cords and cutting away negative attachments, helping us to overcome our ego. Thank you for protecting us every step of the way this week, every day of our lives moving forward. Thank you for blessing everyone here, Archangels, and for helping them to get real focused and clear about what they want so that they can receive the blessings that the universe has for them. So thank you, angels. So I'm going to start with the Archangel Power Tarot now that we've invoked the angels and we've prayed to them. And we ask Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Michael, what is your guidance this week? What do we need to know about the energy, about what's popping up? Of course, there's that full moon. So we can harness that for our highest good. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, and I'm going to pull an extra card from the Archangel Michael deck. These are both Radley Valentine cards. People always ask me what cards I'm using. Wow, okay. So the first card out is an Ariel card, matches my pop. And Ariel's energy is this beautiful pink. And look at the look at the image on the card. The angel is sitting watching. Oh, I've shrunk. How do I make myself bigger? We don't know. Um, the angel is sitting watching whilst this person is, is balancing upside down. They've got too many things. They're holding things. They're trying to keep balance on the edge of a very high building. So obviously this is a card about making sure that, okay, we all have to juggle, right? We've all got a lot of things on our plate. But it only sometimes takes one thing to make you out of balance and your juggling all falls to the floor. So here are Archangel's Gabrielle Michael and Ariel are saying to you, make sure that when you're planning the future, the year ahead, but also this week, should be about balance. You'll get more done. And it, I'm hearing not to be so hard on yourself, not to put so much pressure on yourself and other people. You know, have you noticed when you're gentle on yourself, you're gentler with other people? When you're hard on yourself, you're harder on other people. Or you might notice that in others, right? If you know someone who's really hard, defensive, hard on other people, the chances are that they're really, really hard on themselves. Um, so it's important to have that, 
that sense of balance to make sure you're not taking on too much because you know what happens when we take on too much we just kind of splat we get all ungrounded and all over the place so whatever you do as well bringing joy into your into your week so can you organize some little pit stops this week where you're doing something that um, brings you joy, whether it's going for a walk near the ocean or whether it's um, watching a funny movie that's your favorite movie. Just think of little things that you can do to break up the week because that is when you connect with your soul. That's when you reconnect um, with source. That's when you recharge your energy. Have you been doing that enough or has it been just all work, work, work? Hi, Cara. Hi, De Dee. So the blood card is, and this is, I always say the things in the intro and then the angels, um, the, the angels kind of validate it. So this is saying that memories coming up, things are coming up to be healed um, right now. So you might find yourself revisiting old states of mind. You might find yourself revisiting like, why did that happen to me in my childhood? Or why did I get treated like that? So this isn't an opportunity for you to go into self-pity or um, it's okay to love yourself through these things, to have self-compassion. But you know, don't go into victimhood because you just gives all your power away. Your energy just leaks like a colander. So this is a chance for you to take back your power from those situations. You can draw your energy back from those situations. You can go and forgive. You can forgive yourself. You can send yourself love. And you can think, right, okay, now, this, this many years later, how would I... How would I handle this lovingly now? How could I stand up for myself now? And it may be that because of those situations, you lost your voice. I'm feeling a throat chakra tingle. So that means you really need to speak up for yourself. You need to tell the truth to people with love. So things from your childhood and your inner child coming up to be healed this week. This is the influence of the big full moon. And it's also the influence of you raising your vibration in your new intentions and goals for this year. It's like the angels that are right there with you riding the chariot, you know, they're, they're saying, come on, we're taking you to a new level. Are you coming? You've got to drop that. You've got to let go of that. You can't take that with you. Woohoo! <laughs> so what are you, what are you dropping out of the chariot that you don't want to take with you anymore? Because it just doesn't serve you. It does not serve you. It's about authenticity, you know, being your true self, that's what's attractive, that's what's magnetic to the universe and to other people when you're, when you're actually just being yourself, you're not mimicking anyone else. So then we have the guidance card which is Archangel Uriel and it's the sun. So this is, look at it, I mean there's just nothing negative about this card. We have got the sun, We've got sunflowers, we've got Uriel, the angel of golden light, galloping forward. He's our February angel, by the way, Uriel. Galloping forward on a unicorn, wings outspread, the gates are open. And this matches perfectly with the Archangel Michael card, which says the way forward is open. Remember, last week we spoke, this one came up. That's, that is a synchronicity. Synchronicity means that pay attention, you need to pay attention to the message. So you are not stuck. Life is wonderful. It's time for you to start recognizing the wonder of life, the gratitude for the good times. You know, I was having a conversation with my mum last night and we were saying about um, how hard times, you know, hard times are, are, you know, they come along. They come along, right? We, we lose people. Life moves forward. There's things that change. So that means you've got to be extra grateful and present for the good times have to be really recognize those good times when they're around and so and recognize the good things in life this this map here it's like a treasure map and it's saying you know you're finding the path to your dreams but the path is through the path of joy and peace you can't find peace on a path of negativity and drama you can't find joy on a path of 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 misery right so, you know, if you're in a job that you really, really hate and you're thinking, okay, I'm going to, you know, make loads of money at this job and then I'm going to leave in 20 years and then I'll be happy, that's not going to lead, it's just never going to lead you to happiness because you're unhappy doing it. So you've got to find the path that fits for you. 
but the angels are there to guide you. It's not about you having to do it all by yourself. So the gates are open. Use your thoughts, your prayers, your visualizations, speak with your angels and bring it into fruition. Let the doors open and when something shows up, synchronicity, when a door opens, a message comes, a sign appears, follow through with it. When you get inspired action, take it. Don't wait, keep going. Keep moving, moving the energy. And then the final card, which is the outcome card, is the King of Gabrielle. Now remember that Gabrielle is the angel of the month for January. And this is about, one, look how serene he is sitting on his throne. He is peaceful. He is not engaged in any drama. Drama is everywhere, right? It's just waiting like little yippy dogs, right? I love dogs. But you know, like little barking, naggy energy waiting to distract you from your path of peace, your path of joy, your path of manifestation with the angels. But here we have Archangel Gabriel showing up in the king energy saying, here, here you go, stay focused on your goals and dreams. See the bigger picture. Of course, sometimes you're going to get distracted. Of course, sometimes there's going to be a leaky tap. You've got to call a plumber. There's that kind of stuff, you know, you're going to have to stop what you're doing and do something else. But then you always come back to the path, always come back to the road. So this is a week where they're asking you to use the moon energy to reaffirm, re, um, reignite your goals and dreams. There's power in this full moon. And when you've got that bigger picture, the gates will open. It's like as you step forward, as you step forward, as you step forward, more and more doors will open. And you'll say, wow, I'm so lucky. Wow, how come, how, how good is this that this is happening for me? <laughs> how amazing, I never would have thought, just, but that's, it's your energy working in co-creation with the angels, right? You're in perfect synergy right now. And we have the perfect angel to work with us for the month. So on Friday, I'm doing this amazing event, which is working with Archangel Gabrielle. And we're going to do a, a deep clearing of anything that's keeping you invisible, small, low vibration, stuck, imposter syndrome, feeling guilty, feeling, you know, doubt about what you can have. We're going to clear all of that. And I'm going to take you through a process where I'm going to actually hold space for you to manifest what it is that you want. So we're going to do a ritual of intention setting with Archangel Gabrielle. Then we're going to um, do some other steps that I can't tell you about yet because you have to come along. And then I'm going to actually hold the energetic space for you to let go of everything so that you can step forward and we'll get you some clear guidance. So this is a group session. It's 57 Australian dollars. It's Activate Your Highest Intentions Attunement with Archangel Gabrielle next Friday at 10 a.m. Sydney, Australia time, which is Thursday night at 6 p.m. Eastern in the U.S. So you can go over and grab your ticket to that event now, and you can also get the replay um, lifetime access. So Archangel Gabrielle is, uh, Gabrielle gives us our drive and will not tolerate you being like, I can't do it. <laughs> Gabrielle will help you to find that path, right? Where you might imagine the way is blocked, but working with Gabrielle and the other angels, and of course Archangel Michael, we're going to clear away those blocks and obstacles. So keep walking towards your goals and keep let go of the guilt. And that's what the angels spoke about early this morning to me in my meditation. They were, they were saying, talk about guilt. So how many of you here notice that when you put out for intentions, and we'll do a lot of this work on Friday, but when you put out for intentions, or even when you receive something, you feel guilty. You might feel guilty for asking. You might think, oh, that's too big. It's greedy. It's not, um, I shouldn't be asking for this. I'm pulling the angels away from other things. Or even when you get given a gift or a compliment or you win something, I was talking to a family member the other day and they were saying oh, they'd won five times in a row on this kind of um, lottery thing. And, and they expressed that, like, oh, I feel like I'm really, you know, greedy, like I keep winning. And I'm like, no, like that's part of the good things in life. The universe is giving you gifts. 
So guilt is the lowest frequency and vibration of all. It's the lowest frequency of all. So if you feel guilty about asking for help with something, asking to manifest something about your goal and intention, even if it's a tiny bit, or you feel guilty about receiving, or you're carrying some guilt in your energy of like, I don't really deserve this, then you are putting up blocks and you're lowering your vibration because guilt is just like black tar. I've been an energetic healer for over 20 years. And believe me, guilt and shame are the hardest energies for people to shift by themselves because it's it's like black tar. It, it just weighs, weighs down. It's such a dense energy. So releasing guilt is something that immediately, um, it's like you shoot like a rocket up in your frequency because you're no longer carrying that um, sabotaging energy with you. And of course it frees up your mind as well because guilt keeps you in a cycle of feeling not good about yourself, I don't deserve this, I'm not worthy, you know? And it's, I think we're taught to feel guilty in some ways, you know? We're sort of, we're given guilt. So we're now, you know, if we can recognize that we're feeling guilty, you can now see that it's actually a saboteur from your ego. And instead of saying, oh, I don't deserve, or I'm not worthy, or I'm being greedy, say to yourself, I only fear that I'm unworthy. I only fear that I'm being greedy. And fear is not a divine energy. And therefore, it's an illusion. It's not true. So, and then use affirmations like, I am worthy, I trust. When I refill my energy, when I am abundant, I'm able to share that abundance with others. You know, and you can also look at the alternative. It's like, if I don't, for instance, I work with a lot of people who are building their spiritual businesses. If I don't build my spiritual business, if I don't um, create a positive outcome, if I don't create a flow of, of income, there's a lot of guilt amongst light workers about earning money. If I don't, if I am not prosperous, and then I'm struggling to pay my bills, I'm having to borrow money off people. I can't go and I can't buy beautiful gifts for people on their birthdays and christenings and weddings. Um, it what's the, that's the alternative. If I don't let myself receive, if I feel so guilty about receiving, then I get burnt out. I'm struggling. There's lack and scarcity in my life. Then I'm sort of creating burdens for other people because you know what I mean. I, I'm I'm I can't pay my bills on time and those kind of things. So you've got to look at it in a different way and say, okay, abundance is the natural energy of the universe. And of course, sometimes there's an ebb and flow, just like there's a flow and ebb in the seasons. But to be abundant, to be fulfilled, to be taken care of to um, be in integrity as well is actually a natural energy of the universe. The, the divine doesn't want you to be lacking and in scarcity. And so therefore, why would you hold yourself back from that with these fears about being unworthy or undeserving or old, old ideas about yourself? That means you're separating, which is ego, edging God out, separating from the divine energy. I love that. E-G-O, edging God out. Because when you're full up, you've got more to share with others. Does that work for you? Anyone here have that guilt energy come up when they're um, asking or even when you're receiving, like somebody gives you something? A compliment, love, <laughs> a gift. Hi, Cecilia. Thank you. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing to say. Thank you. Hi Cheryl, welcome back. Hi, hi Carol, all the C's. Carol, Celia, and Cheryl. Working on manifesting. What are you manifesting, Carol? By the way, when I talk in dollars, know that I'm in um, Australia. So people worry that it's it's US dollars. Um, it's Australian dollars, which it works out as less American dollars. Um, if if you're concerned, hi. Hi, Ali. Good morning. Oh, so we've got everybody 
everybody's feeling good okay so i'm so excited as well for myself because um i think sometimes when good things happen or things that we really want happen we can kind of um hold them back because it's almost it's it's so exciting that you can get overwhelmed as well i think that can be a block sometimes so uh, it's been a long time coming but i've got a brand new website that um is about to be um released in the next few days it's this week it's happening this week we've had a few delays we've had a few things go on and then finally it's ready and it's beautiful so i can't wait to share that with you in in the next couple of days i'll let you know on this page as soon as it's ready so you can go over and have a look it's a whole rebrand for me um and uh, my old website's great and it's it's worked it's worked it's functional but um it hasn't matched me for a long long time so i'm i'm now ready to release something new and with that is going to come some new programs new classes um lots of beautiful new things coming this year from from me so i'm really excited so you know i think sometimes but you know even when i moved to this house when i first moved here i was like <gasps> you know I almost didn't want to take up too much room in it because I was like, gosh, this is this is so nice. And, you know, it's that kind of weird, not undeservedness, but am I really allowed this? Do I really have permission? You know? And I think, I think we have to be really aware of that because we can subconsciously stop things from coming in and live at this kind of level of just scraping by, um, which isn't doesn't serve anyone. Does not serve anyone. Kobe, manifesting a reunion with your sons, holding the vision for that, Kobe, and asking the Archangel Gabriel, because Gabriel's also the angel for mothers, and Archangel Michael to help you that. All is love. Thank you. Hi, Lena. Hi, lovely to see you. Thanks, Michelle. I'm excited, too, to show it off. I really am. I've been working with a, a beautiful um, designer. Yeah. So it's like it's it's lovely to have something new to start the year off. Thanks, D. New beginnings for you too. Hey, Cecilia. My mum would always tell me that guilt is not God. Oh, the comments keep refreshing. Hang on. I've suffered with guilt and shame all my life, a product of being raised in an alcoholic domestic. Yeah, I'm sorry about hearing about that which I hid very well from everyone. Yeah, because you you know, people who have, have been in dysfunctional families growing up learn to, to show a different face to the world, right? And then you carry the shame because, well, for a lot of reasons, but because it's, it's um, it feels shameful, but it's not yours to hold, is it? So, you know, guilt, the angels are very good at releasing guilt. They're very good at releasing guilt. And they often say to me in, in healing, like, hands off, we'll do it. Because when it's really heavy like that, they, they're very good at transmuting that heavy energy. So, you know, call on Archangel Michael and ask him to take your, your guilt and shame and your attachment to it too, you know. And also, if it's attached to relationships, it might be um, in some cords, that are still existing and you can ask i'm actually feeling around the stomach cecilia so you can ask um archangel michael to take those cords and any shame that's attached because sometimes by sort of proxy it's like if if i'm energetically corded to someone or if someone's in my energy field that i don't want to be there right sometimes people can can step into your energy field because they're thinking about you a lot or they're they're obsessing on you or whatever it is judging you and then that's their vibration is in your energy field, their emotions, their negativity. So sometimes we always kind of entrain, you know, the word entrainment, which means to match energy. It's what happens when, when you put a room full of ticking clocks, you know, uh, mechanical clocks, they will all eventually synchronize. Or when women live in a house together, their menstrual cycle synchronizes. Well, we synchronize, synchronize energy. And so if there's a lot of people in your life that are negative or a lot of people that carry guilt or a lot of people that project guilt and shame onto you, even energetically, if they're not here physically, you can be entrained to that. So when you cut the energy and you clear them with the help of the angels, you're no longer entraining to that energy. And then your vibration can be your vibration and you're not sort of 
um, by osmosis receiving guilt, shame, whatever the low energy is. And you can take the blessings and the love and your beautiful energy and, um, and be you in the world. Be healed. All right, my beautiful souls, I'm about to, in a half an hour, um, go over to Instagram and I'm going to do this reading again. Um, just know that the angels are with you very, very close at the moment and that love is available to you. You know, there's all kinds of other vibrations we can tap into, but our angels are, are vibrating love and that's your natural vibration as well. So that's why you love the angels so much, right? They're, they're a part of you. They're, they're, they remind you of who you really are. So I will see you next Monday and I really hope to see you at the um, Archangel Attunement. The link is in the um, comments here if you want to go over and check it out. You could also join all of the Attunements for 2023. That um, is expiring this week, that offer. Um, and get them for $20 off, $23 off actually each month. Um, and that will include this, this January Attunement. But um, go over and check that out. You can have a look yourself. All right, lots of love. Angel blessings.